90 degrees out and I put these eye black stickers on uh -huh. and I had them on for about four or five hours. I'm just sitting there in, out there in the, in the dugout watching the game and I went to go peel them off after the game. They wouldn't come off. So, you know, like anybody else would, I, I thought they were, you know, acted like a band-aid. You got to yeah, rip yeah, them yeah. off. I ripped them off and the skin came with it. You look ridiculous. Now, yeah, now I look like I got punched in the face or... You know, it doesn't look good. You look, so, it's better than having a twice broken well, jaw, though, right? Yeah, can't have that. I'll take anything <laughs> over a broken jaw again. Hey, tell me about your hitting down here. Uh, you, you're, you're doing really well. Actually, I don't care about your hitting. Okay. Tell me about your defense, because that, that's what matters more. That's here. that's what's going to get me into the show. That's what it's, that's my right. ticket. Um, right. They've got to trust me behind the plate, and that's the biggest thing that I'm trying to work on is my dependability, or show them that I can be dependable behind the plate, because you know that's been my issue. But you know, I went to the I went to Dominican to catch in a hostile environment, in with you know, bad food. Bad food, not bad food. Just it's awful. It's just not not what we're used to. Um, okay. I went there. You know, I got people yelling at me all game. I'm not hitting, but you know, I'm catching well, and I don't really, I didn't yeah, really yeah. care about my hitting because yeah. I knew my I know my bat's gonna play in the show. Um, so I just wanted to be as uncomfortable as possible in that environment and see how good I can catch or how you know hard I had to work to catch it as yeah. well as I could. And you know, I, I believe I parlayed that winter league into into this spring training. Hopefully, I can. I know I will. Actually, not hopefully. I know I will. I'll parlay this spring training into you know April first. You're a smart guy. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you look at this depth chart, what does it tell you? I mean, it's it's not going to be easy. No, no, it's an uphill climb. But you know, it was a lot more uphill when Russell was here. So. You know, that, compared to that depth chart, it's always going to be right. more intimidating. So, compared to trying to compete with the best in the game, to guys who are, you know, m more on my level, mm -hmm. you know, but who are still working to get to where Russell was at, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's right there for. I'd like to believe it's for any of us to take the job. Um, I don't think I truly don't believe that number one is set in stone. I know. The two of them are, are higher on the depth chart right now, but you know I can't control that. All I can control is how well I play on the field every day, how well I perform, how well I catch, how many knocks I get, and you know go to bed, look myself in the mirror, and say, "Damn, you gave it your all today. You don't make the squad. It's not because of you. It's because they have other plans." Dude, don't look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's bad.